Welcome back to Max for Live DNA. Uh, we stopped on lesson 12, so I guess we're going to pick up again here on lesson 13. And what I wanted to show you here is something called the expression control. So let's take a kind of closer look at what expression control can do for us. First of all, let's pull it down here into the channel. I've got a little pluck kind of melody that I've um, grabbed from one of my other projects, pulled it in here for this example. So let's um, go back here. Expression control. Now it's not going to do anything without an instrument in front of it. So let's go get an instrument. Uh, let's find something. Yeah, I guess we can use this. Hybrid will work. And hybrid. Let's go with some arpeggios. Let's try muting. See that got in trouble. So the first thing I need to do here is set up something for us to map to if we're going to use the expression control to kind of modulate the hybrid. So let me, sorry, I clicked on the wrong guy there. All right, so let me configure it, get a couple parameters for us to work with. Let's go with cutoff, let's go with delay, chorus, and some reverb. Let's get those guys going. So take off the configure. Now we've got some parameters to work with. So what expression control is going to do for us is we can map the velocity of the MIDI notes and we can set a minimum and maximum range. So let's hear what we've got currently. You can already see without us having done anything, you can see the output being mapped from the key track and from the velocity. Of course the mod wheel, pitch bend, and aftertouch are relative to your keyboard or your MIDI source. Right now I don't have my keyboard plugged in, so we're just going to be dealing with these two, but the other ones work the same way, so you'll get the idea. So velocity. If we go back to our MIDI clip, you can see there's different velocities set up down here for each note. Each note probably has a slightly different velocity. That's why we're seeing that triggered as an output. So we can minimize that. Kind of you know, give it a little bit better frame of reference. The key track, of course, we're moving up and down in different keys throughout the melody. That's why we're noticing the output there. But what happens to the sound when we say map velocity to, let's map it to the delay. Now you see the delay respond to the velocity of the keys. Let's try mapping the key track to the cutoff. I'm going to turn up the sound a little bit. Let's see what kind of difference this is making for us. physically see the cutoff being modulated as well as post the delay. Really, really cool textures coming through there. Really, really, really awesome device. And of course we can smooth this up or down if it's a little choppy. And again the pitch bend and some of the different guys down here rely on the keyboard. Sorry, I don't have that plugged in right now for the example. Just wanted to grab the expression control and kind of show you with your keyboard it is extremely powerful as the MIDI notes are being hit 